G'day guys, Jace here from Flying with Jace. Welcome back to the next chapter of the Navigation Basics. Today's one, sharing the cost of your flying with passengers. It's a question I do get asked from time to time and it's a, something that comes up in conversation. Can a recreational pilot take money from a passenger to go flying? I'm going flying, Bob wants to come along. Can I take some money off Bob? Well, the answer is yes. Yes, with a but. As an RAOS pilot, technically, you're operating as a private pilot. You need to operate under the rules and regulations as a private pilot with regards to taking money from your passengers. So here's what the regs have to say about it. And if you actually wanted to look this up, it takes a little bit of time to find. So I've gone to the effort of finding it for you. The documents that we look at to give us guidance on this, it's not in the RAOS operations manual. It's in the Civil Aviation Safety Regulations, and subordinate to that, the actual the actual definitions are in the Flight Operations Regulations Dictionary. Did you know that there was a document called the Dictionary that is just full of the definition for individual words? What are the definitions? Okay, well, from the CAOs, a private operation, which is what we need to do, is basically anything that isn't charter, uh, aerial work, flight training, airline work, uh, commercial balloons, some special New Zealand stuff, or international flying. So private operations, basically anything that's not commercial. What does it say about cost sharing? Okay, now remember this is also aimed at the GA pilot, it's not just specific to us. We can, a private pilot and an RAOS pilot can cost share with a passenger, provided the flight is using an aircraft with not more than six seats. That's fine. The pilot and commander is not remunerated for the flight. You're not being paid specifically for that flight. Okay. And the pilot in command pays an amount of the direct cost of the flight. That's at least equal to the amount that would be paid by each person if the costs were divided evenly between all of the people on board. Really easy in an RAOs aircraft. It only has two seats. So if we use their example here, all right, if the direct cost was uh, $3,000, we decided the flight we did this morning, all things considered, cost us $3,000. The pilot in command must pay at least $1,500 of that. You can't pay $1 and let your passenger pay $2,999. You have to pay at least half of that to be legally taking money from your passengers, all right? You also can't advertise the flight to the general public. So an advertisement in a newspaper, I would put that to an advertisement, say, on Facebook Marketplace or an advertisement on Facebook pages, okay? But if it's your flying club newsletter, that's not an advertisement to the public. So it might be your small group of people that you fly with in your flying club Maybe, I don't know, maybe that would meet the requirements if you had a small closed Facebook group and you said, hey guys, I'm going out to the Wattsbridge flying in the morning. Does anyone want to come along and cost share? Well, that'd be fine. But if you put a note on Facebook Marketplace saying aircraft going to the Wattsbridge flying looking to cost share, then that wouldn't be legal. These are the sort of things you need to get your head around it uh, and what you can and can't do when you go flying, specifically when you go flying on your cross country and you take your passengers. Short, sharp and sweet, guys. I wanted to cover that. Naturally, if you've got any questions, please give me a yell, email or, uh, or direct messenger if you like. Have a good day. Safe flying.